Hi, I'm Joe Hoogler, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about using a submix uh, in your DAW. Uh, specifically, I'm going to be talking about setting up a drum, a, a drum submix in Sonar X2 Producer. I'll talk about the signal flow, and I'll also explain a little bit about how the, uh, the submix might be used by a producer. Okay, so here we are now in Sonar X2 Producer, and as you can see, I have uh, five individual tracks for the elements of a drum kit. These are uh, audio tracks that I've uh, converted from MIDI that I uh, entered using the uh, Sonar Step Sequencer and Session Drummer. Uh, I have these now in a, um, in a good mix and uh, I've panned them uh, in an uh, audience perspective and, uh, and I, I like what I have so far. But what I want to do now is create a submix for these so that I can control the level of the volume or, uh, for, the, uh, for the entire kit and maybe do some EQ and me later on maybe add some other effects uh, just to, to see what that might sound like. So the way I'll do that is I'll start by uh, clicking uh, in the mixer console and I'll select s insert stereo bus and magically the stereo bus appears. Uh, the first thing I want to do is rename that to drums so that, that I don't lose track of what I'm doing here. And, uh, and now I, I want to route the signal flow from each of the channel strips over on the left hand side. So I have five of these. I'll start with the kick drum and basically I'm just going to take my output and send it over to the drum bus and that will create my stereo submix. Uh, every single one of these channel strips is now being output to this um, bus. And so when I play this I'll be able to control the, um, the pan, not that I'd necessarily want to, but I'd be able to control the fader level. I'd also be able to add, for example, EQ, and I'll just do that uh, quickly. I'll turn on the EQ for the, uh, for the submix. I'll make it post fader and just a sort of a standard, get rid of the low end rumble on the kick and maybe uh, get the... Uh, the symbols to sizzle a little bit and uh, and then when I play that back um, I should get a pretty decent sound. So that's it. The uh the signal flow uh, for the for the submix for the drums was uh, was very easy to set up in Sonar. Uh, uh, hopefully, you saw how uh, setting the volume levels uh, and also things like EQ are made a lot easier by using a submix, and then also the uh, the the whole idea of using a a, a bus for an effect like reverb that's going to be applied to all the elements or at least a lot of the elements within the submix and, uh, and how we're saving a little bit of CPU.